Hey, what's up you guys? You are going to watch a video about how I edit my photos. If you want to know more about my photos and my photography, check the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're not watching on YouTube and you're in class, you guys can always come up to me and talk to me about it. If you guys want to see your portraits, anything I'm down to do. So enjoy my speech on, or my tutorial on how I edit photographs, and I will see you in a second. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to show you how I edit photos. First you're going to want to open up Lightroom, go to your library, and select the photo that you want. Uh, here I'm doing a senior portrait I did a couple months ago. Uh, yeah, so this is my friend Perry, I'm going to do her senior portraits, and on the right is all your adjustment sliders in the development tab. I believe I selected, at first you expose the image, so that exposure plays around with the overall brightness of the image. Yeah, and then after you do the exposure, as you can see, it's gonna brighten the background a little bit, give a little bit more light on her face. Uh, yeah. Okay, next you wanna play around with the highlights. The highlights is giving more definition to the hair and basically the, the really whites of the image and where the sun would be shining. And then after that, you can play around with shadows to bring up more of the shadows like underneath her eyes or you know on her face. So you can check that out right now. It just kind of breathes more life back into the image, things that were lost and just in the shadows. And I'm just making a few adjustments right here. Uh, you can always click on the right hand side and type in exactly the exposure you want. Just a fun fact there. Next you're going to play around with your whites and your blacks. This basically is the same thing as contrast, although you can manipulate and adjust it a little bit easier. Then you can go on to sharpening the image. I usually try to sharpen around 100, um, which kind of just brings up like more definition to the image. However, if you're overly sharpening your images, it's going to appear a little grainy as you can see here. So to kind of counteract that, what I do is I play around with the luminance, which is directly under the sharpening, which I'm showing you guys right now. So here I just selected 100 for the sharpening, and yeah. Okay, next you bring up luminance. Luminance is gonna make the skin a little bit more soft. So usually on portraits, you don't wanna over soften the image because that makes it look really fake. You kinda wanna be able to see the skin and you know the pores you know slightly, but uh, you do wanna make them look a little, slightly more beautiful and more flawless, so that's what I did. You can play around with your vibrance and your saturation after that, and I don't touch saturation because it overly saturates or unsaturates the photo. So I play around with vibrance, which kind of just pops the colors without overly saturating the image. Okay, so here I'm just making a few adjustments. And okay, at the top underneath your histogram, you can select the spot, spot removal tool. And what the spot removal tool is, is it can basically uh, take out areas as you can see like any blemishes or any problems on her face. Perry's really cool so she doesn't have any but uh, she uh, really any major ones so <laughs> I just had to make a few adjustments here spot remove and it will replace the skin with other skin near it that helps you know even out skin tone. Uh, also you can play around with your brightness and your paintbrush so what I did is I usually go back in for senior portraits and paint in people's eyes and make them slightly whiter, just giving a little bit more pop to the eye, as you can see on the left eye and then the right eye I'm gonna do right now. See that, it just pops right up. So next I believe I was gonna go into the temperature. So your overall temperature is really a creative way of giving more of a mood to your portraits. Um, like for this one, it was shot outside and I wanted to kind of look more like summery and hazy. So I brought the temperature up into more of a yellowish tone just to make everything look a little better. And here I'm going back in and painting in her lips just to give her a little bit of lipstick or you know, what the camera kind of takes away, I uh, went back and put in. So you can paint their lips. And then add a uh, vignette. I usually like on senior portraits to do a white vignette on the outside. It kind of makes it look dreamy, I don't know. And here are some before and afters, as you can see, just a lot more color, a lot more definition, ooh, a lot better sense of clarity, and just everything looks generally a lot nicer. So that's the cool thing about Lightroom, is they do allow you to go in here and see your before and after. 
All right, next you're gonna wanna export this. So I just exported it to the desktop. You can rename it and you can play around with your file size and your images. For right now, we're just gonna keep it at 100K and I'm not gonna add any watermarks or anything like that. So, and then you just export it. And as you can see, it's right up there. And there you go. If you guys wanna see more of me on YouTube, then you can always subscribe to Spice Productions. You can probably do that right here. And I just want to leave you guys with a huge thank you and shout out to my speech class and I'll see you guys later.